Happy Friday, everyone. Oh, wait. It's not Friday. It's Monday. But it's my Friday. good thing about well I should say that's the only good thing about me having to work Mondays is that it's actually my Friday so it makes it a little bit easier to go to work on Monday morning knowing that I'm off the next two days so I'm gonna go to work today and then I don't know what we have planned for our days off this week I think I'm just gonna kind of get some rest I'm gonna try to get some rest to get rid of this cold sickness thing I have so far I don't feel real bad I just I'm just all congested in my throat and <clears throat> I'm coughing a lot this morning and stuff so I'm gonna try to rest up and get rid of that so I'll be all better by the time I go back to work on Thursday and then of course we have our usual errands we have to run and all that stuff so anyway that's about it got the bunk beds last night I think Brad's gonna put them together today because he's off today So, nice traffic today so far, not too bad. No snow on the road, so that's good. And I will check in after work. Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning. I just dropped the older kids off to school. So I got Marco to the bus stop, had a freak out moment. We had a helicopter like hovering above our house and I didn't know what was going on. And with all these crazy freaks around, you never know what's gonna happen. And so, um, actually, if you look down there, all the cops and ambulance and fire trucks. Well, anyways, um, Sorry. You never know with crazy people. And Marco's standing at the um, bus stop and there's four other kids down there. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? So me being the crazy person that I am, a crazy parent, I get the binoculars out to see what helicopter it is. <laughs> so I see it's Channel 4 News. So I turn on Channel 4 News and it's just a fire down the street. Not just a fire, but you know what I mean. But I was freaking out. I was about to holler at all the kids at the bus stop and Marco and tell them to get back to the house because I didn't know if it was a lunatic out somewhere. But luckily it wasn't that and everybody's safe at the fire. Everybody got out and it's just a garage that's on fire but they evacuated the apartments next to the garage because they don't want it to spread to the apartments. So anyways enough of that now I'm taking Ralphie and Mackenzie to daycare uh oh what is that let's just pull in here there's something on top of my car I think but I thought I got everything off of there from when we went and got the bunk bed last night but you know I'm crazy sometimes so anyways um now I'm taking them to school and then I'm going to come back, take the old bed down and put the new bed up and take the old bed back to my business partner. Um, she let me use this bed that she had. So anyways, let's just get out here and see what's going on here for a minute. See if I, oh, silly me. Look at this. I forgot to take that off the top of the van. Haha, <laughs> silly me. So anyways, um, as I'm an idiot and taking this off the van, 
oh God, issues this morning. That's what happens when you get home late and all that. Anyways, I'm gonna take this bed back to her and then I'm going to uh, try to run and get some hairspray for one of our clients that we haven't, that we don't have in the salon. So, my crazy day. What, Ralphie? What are you hollering for me for? Wednesday. There's another and That's a fire too. truck. Yeah, yep. Another fire truck. Yeah, there's another one that help. Yep, they're gonna go help. So well, anyways, I guess that's it for now and I will fire. I will see you guys later. It's a Took the kids to school and so I'm on my way back home. The fire station is just like right here, like two minutes, if that, away from where this fire is. So we're gonna just drive down there and show you. So right here, that's the road you turn on to go to my house. So the helicopter was hovering right above my house and kept circling around. So I'm freaking out. So anyways, right up here is where the fire happened. I don't know if I can get through up here or not, but we're just going to try and see what happened. Yeah, no, they got it all blocked up. There's fire hoses, all that right up here. So we'll just turn around right here, but this is where the fire is. I'll just turn around right here. That's how close to the house it was. Just thought I'd show you guys. The bunk bed is coming along. <clears throat> Have the ladder and some pieces over here. And I got another box I'm about to break into so I can do some more. So I'll show you when I get it all together. Almost got the bunk beds done. I'm washing the girls is bedding before I show the video of it all being done. Mackenzie don't have a full bed set but we just ordered her um, a bed set off of Amazon and of course you'll never guess what it is. Frozen! Anyways I thought I'd get out for a minute go get some gas because I know I need gas and it's nice outside and I don't want to be inside the whole day. It's like 41 today so it's it's nice and I'm I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of it before I go back home and um, finish the girls stuff so I got some of it in the dryer some of it in the wash so I'll go back get that done and then got to finish straighten up the house I kind of moved their room around because I didn't like the where the bunk beds were where the old bed was so now I'm having an issue of where to put this big ass freaking dresser so I guess the next thing is gonna have to get them a dresser maybe a couple of dressers one for Mackenzie one for Natalie I don't know there's not our rooms for the kids aren't real real big I wish they were a little bit bigger like even three foot each way would be nice that would give us plenty more room but no one knew we were gonna have four kids when we bought this house either, so. 
I guess you gotta make do with what you got. So we will try to make the best of it as we have. That's why our house is always a mess. There's four kids and it's not big enough really for four kids. So we got so much clutter and we can't use the basement because that's where Marco's room is. So we're kind of in a pickle. I think we're just gonna have to sell and get a bigger house if the girls stay much longer because this house just is not big enough for four. Well, four kids, six people all together. If we sell, Brett would want a brand new house and I wanna be in the country. I said, I lived in the city for you. Next time we buy, it's gonna be in the country for me. Cause I want some land and I wanna get another horse. I miss having a horse to ride. So, I always give in though. Always let him be in the city. But I'm gonna stop here at Quip Trip. Oh God, what am I doing? I'm pulling up because I'm used to just going in and getting a sweet tea. And I need to get gas. I don't know what I was thinking. Silly old me. I'm trying to be in a rush to get things done. I took some of the bed to storage, the other bed, until my friend wants it back. I'm sure she's got to make room for it and stuff, so I just put it in storage for now. We have a storage unit for the salon, so I'll just put it in there. But I'll check back in later, I guess. We'll see ya. I'm headed home from work, and it is the weekend for me anyway. It's always my favorite time of the week. And I can hardly talk though because of this cold thing I have going on. I've been coughing all day long and now my throat is really, I almost sound like I have the beginning stages of laryngitis or something. I can barely talk. I mean, I can talk, but it's just kind of constricted in my uh, vocal cords a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> my friend Marcy I work with, she gave me a cough drop because she heard I was coughing, so she gave me some cough drops. I have some, but they're all at home. But I don't, you can't see me. <laughs> you can't see me. That was a bridge I wanted to. <clears throat> I don't feel bad. I just, I'm so hoarse and so, uh, it's all up in my head and my nose and my throat. I don't have a sore throat anymore. It's just the uh, clogged up everything. It's a too stuffy. It's just a little bit congested, but not too bad. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I got a phone call, so I had to wait till I got to a stoplight so I could put my phone back on my little, uh, my little, uh, what do you call that? Little mount for my phone on my vent that I have. <clears throat> That's one of the reasons why I want to get a regular camera to vlog with because I don't have to worry about people calling me and inter interrupting my video when I'm vlogging or if I'm doing a candle review or a candle haul because I use my phone for all my videos so whenever I get a phone call it interrupts it so I either if I just started it the video I'll just record it over again but if I'm already into it I'm not gonna stop and re-record all that I just continue it so if I had a regular camera I wouldn't have to worry about that so I've been we've been looking at some cameras so I'm not sure <clears throat> there's a couple that I want to get. We don't want anything. There's one that I really, really like that's like $700, but I'm not going to get that right now. But we'll start off with the cheaper one. This, I mean, it's a nice one, but it's not like real expensive. It'll be a good beginner camera to have to vlog with. And then later on down the road, maybe we get that more expensive one. But anyway... I was saying, I don't feel that bad. I'm just really, really, I just sound terrible. <clears throat> I feel a little bit drained, a little bit, but not too bad. I don't feel real sick or anything, so. Hopefully I can just get home and we can get dinner and stuff and then just kind of take it easy for the rest of the night. Because tomorrow we'll have our running around to do. 
So anyway, I'm going to get off here because it <coughs> hurts me to talk because it's draining my vocal cords to talk. So anyway, I'm headed home. So I'm burning this uh, red raspberry yeah, centerpiece yeah. milk cup no. in my new centerpiece. And it's Daddy. still smelling pretty good after Daddy. about 12 hours I've had it Daddy. lit or uh, turned on anyway. So we will see how it goes the rest of the way. Last night I had my uh, <clears throat> lavender and vanilla. That one lasted about 18 hours or so. And then it started getting lighter. But this one's still smelling pretty good. I got the beds together. Ignore those clothes on the bed there. They fell off while I was uh, cleaning up and I just gotta get two hangers for them. So there's the bunk beds. Natalie's little cardboard cork board thing to put a picture on. It's her shelf with her doll. Dresser still needs a little work, but I gotta buy some stuff to put their bracelets in and their necklaces. So some kind of little jewelry box or something. Then their little corner shelf is over there with Mackenzie's piggy bank. I have to hide Natalie's because she gets in it. And then their little shelf over here. This is all of, and the lunchbox has Natalie's um, lip balm in it, her lotions up there, and then her hers and Natalie's hair bands. And Rapunzel. And then this is what we have to do for now till we get a little closet for making these clothes because obviously let me show you here. There's no room in this closet for Mackenzie's clothes. Nanley takes it all up. So they have a shoe rack on their door here. They share a shoe rack. I'm thinking about getting one more and putting it on the back of the door. Wait a minute. Put it on the back of the door here maybe. Then they have an N and an M on their door there. And then here's some more shoes of Mackenzie's. <coughs> These kids, you can't say they don't have enough shoes. So, anyways, we're waiting on Mackenzie's bedding. It's supposed to be here. It says Friday. I ordered it off of Amazon. It's frozen bedding for her bed. That's actually Natalie's blanket, but she's a nice sister and lets her use it for now. And then Natalie has Sophia bedding. She got her bedding first because she's had it for a while. So when she first moved in with us, Brett's mom bought it for her. So she's had hers for a while. And we just, since the other bed just pushed underneath the other one, we didn't really buy her any bedding yet. But now that there's a bunk bed, we're gonna buy her one. So they'll have their own bedding now. And we got this bed from Ikea. It's a pretty nice bed. Pretty sturdy. I like it. I like it better than the wooden ones that you can get. So that's a little tour of their bedroom. I'm just saying, these are like the best beers ever. I like my Bud Light, but these are really, really good. And after the night I've had with these kids, they're really good. I've drank six already. I need to stop. <laughs> so anyways, I don't drink that much when it's cold out either. Now when it's warm, I can do some drinking. And on Saturdays when I go to the races, I can do some drinking too if uh, I have another driver. But when I have the kids, I don't even drink a beer when I have the kids. I I'm funny like that. Like, I won't even have a, a beer if we go out to eat and we have the kids or anything like that. But these are awesome. I'll drink a few, maybe a six pack, maybe a 12 pack in the summer at the fire pit next door at the neighbors when we have the kids. But we're here at home, so it doesn't really matter. And all the kids are playing. And I can, 
I can really handle my liquor. You can ask Brett. It takes a lot to get me drunk. So, anyways, just wanted to share this with you. All right, it is about time for bed. Sorry, we didn't vlog too much tonight, but it wasn't a very good night. Um, we have been having a lot of disrespect and behavior behavioral problems from our 12-year-old and it's just been really bad. I know you all don't see it because all I vlog are the good things, which like the other day, he went out and shoveled the driveway without anybody asking him, so that looks all fine and dandy, but you all don't see the other things of him because I don't vlog those. You don't see when he disrespects Natalie, he doesn't do what we tell him to do, He's been getting in trouble at school for not listening to his teachers. He doesn't want to do what they tell him to do. And it's just, we don't know what to do anymore. <clears throat> so, we're just trying to deal with all that right now. And, you know, I told you all we want to adopt him if it comes to that. But we're not sure if it's going to or not. But if it does, if he keeps acting the way he is, I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not because he has got to turn himself around for us to even be able to do this because, you know, we've done everything we can for him. We gave him a loving home here and then he still disrespects us. And then it's the next day it's like he's sorry he did it, but then he just does it again the next day. So we don't know. We're just not sure. Hopefully maybe it'll be a better day tomorrow. We'll see. We've got a lot of thinking to do about all this right now, so um, so that's pretty much it for today's vlog. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day, and we will see you all tomorrow. Sorry guys, I just wanted to add real quick, with, with foster children, it's, it's kind of a harder situation because you know they've been through so much, and... You know, their heart's breaking because they're not with their parents anymore and they're not at home anymore and, you know, they've just gone through so much and, you know, you feel sorry for them that way and you it's, you have to be very uh, kind of understanding for some of the things they do because that can, can kind of add to why they are acting out and why they do some of the things they do. But we have always had issues with Marco in the past, even when we had him the first time. And then he went back home, then he came back, and he was acting better at first. And then it's just kind of going back the way it was before. So, I mean, you know, you can only, you know, try to help him so much. And then it's just like you just don't know what else to do because, yeah, he's gone through a lot and everything. And I think it might be because he doesn't know for sure what's happening and where he's going to be. If he's going to go back to live with his dad or if he's going to stay with us <clears throat> so you know we try to be understanding it with that but at the same time you can't use that as an excuse for just his total disrespect and misbehavior that he's doing there's just and he knows better than that and he's acting some of the things he does he acts he's acting like a four-year-old and he's 12 almost 13 there's no reason for it so Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there because it is, you know, it's a different situation with foster kids. It's a very, um, just a different situation because of the stuff they've been through. So we're trying to just, uh, you know, talk about it and just, you know, weigh all those issues before we, you know, make any final decisions on any anything that's going on here. So. Anyway, thanks guys for listening and thank you for watching. I really like you guys watching our vlogs. We like sharing our lives with you and I just wanted to tell you all of this because I just, I wanted to be upfront with you all so you didn't think that it was just all, you know, everything was completely good, which it looks like in the vlogs, but there is, you know, sometimes it's not all that way. And we don't vlog like when he's getting in trouble and stuff because I don't really think that's appropriate to put on the vlogs, you know, when he's getting in trouble or getting <laughs> reprimanded for things. I mean, sometimes we have like when they're, you know, made to sit there and hold hands or something like that. But I mean, other things like that, you know, other times when he's in trouble, you know, we're, we're not going to 
vlog that stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys all know that. So, and again, thank you for watching and hopefully tomorrow's a better day. All right. Good night.